We're going to hear an awful lot about corporate tax cuts in the next little while. So here are five economic reasons to say no to more corporate tax cuts. Reason number one, what are most Canadians worried about right now? Jobs. What are the strongest ways of creating jobs? The Department of Finance tells us that investment in infrastructure, investment in housing, even giving money to the unemployed and low-income Canadians, all are great ways of creating jobs in the economy. The weakest way to create jobs? More corporate tax cuts. Reason number two, everyone wants more investment. The Government of Canada tells us that by chopping the corporate tax rate, again, by another one and a half percentage points, we're going to see a boom in investment. Well, wait a minute. Corporate tax rates were cut by 10 percentage points from 2000 on. And the rate of business investment in Canada as a share of the economy, same as it was in 2000, before we started cutting. Reason number three, tax cuts in an environment where a government is running a deficit cost money. So stop and think about it. For us to be able to give tax cuts to only the companies that are profitable, because they're the only ones that are paying taxes, would require you and I to pay interest charges so we can borrow the money to give them the money. Does that make sense? Reason number four, opportunity cost. We're sitting on $123 billion worth of undone repairs and maintenance to the infrastructure that my parents' generation built. Interest rates are at historic lows. People are looking for work. Isn't this the time, the smart time, to be repairing that infrastructure? Surely this is not the debt we want to pass on to our children. Reason number five, and maybe the most surprising reason, for the last decade, the corporate sector of Canada has been building up surplus after surplus, and it's now sitting on a mountain of cash, almost half a trillion dollars waiting to be spent on something. But just because they spend, just because they start investing, doesn't mean that those mergers and acquisitions will create jobs in Canada. And that's the problem with corporate tax cuts. They reward firms whether they kill jobs or create them. And that's what makes this proposal a faith-based proposition. Look. Canada's corporate tax rates are almost already at the lowest level in the developed world. Who are we competing with? 